So welcome to a brand new PS4 exclusive and this is called Drive Club, another new racing game out this year. I'm actually quite excited to try it out. So this game has been getting quite mixed reviews so far. I haven't really seen a score above an 8, but I think we should judge for ourselves. Let's check out this game for a little bit. This will probably not be like a full walkthrough, but I might do like a few parts. See what the game is about. I've heard the game is very, very pretty, so I'm looking forward to that. But for now, let's jump straight into the game. Let's start this event. What, that, what does that mean? Just, it just There's no menu. Just says start event. Okay, fair enough. I will do that. Oh, actually, we're in an event already. Okay, fair enough. No instructions. Just got to somehow work out what I'm doing. Fair enough. So I'm in the cockpit view. I'm not sure what car. I'm in some sort of Mercedes-Benz I'm driving. Oh, God, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the interior looks pretty good. Um, I'm not that keen on like the surroundings. If that makes any sense? I have no driving line on. It's not some sort of like tests. This is all, this is all made up tracks, by the way. There's no like real like realistic tracks or realistic environments. It's all sort of made up stuff. Um, is what I've heard anyway. Oh, out. Sorry, and as I bash past, as I lose my voice as well. Is this? There's two laps. Oh, it's the second place. Got is it Laura in front of me? Fair enough. I'll try and get past if we can. So actually, there's certain targets. Whoa, I hope that coming a bit. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oopsie did us. Completely only overcooked that corner. Um, so I'll try and somehow, I've got to finish in the top three. I've got to set a certain time and call me in face off. What does that mean? I don't know, to be honest. Be good at cornering, I guess. <laughs> in some way. Yeah, I actually don't think the game looks that, that pretty. It looks okay, but I mean, it doesn't look that good. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. We will see. Oh, there we go. Is that calling face off? I'm sure, this even means. Oh, sorry. I've got to try to try and keep on the line. Oh, I missed it, I think. Got to try and try again on the next lap. Okay. This is interesting. I like these, like, these little objective things. Yeah, I don't. The car looks. The interior looks pretty good. Can we change the view? There we go. That's the car I'm driving. Just like for the cockpit view, to be honest. Let's see if we can try and. The braking sounds pretty awesome, like when it sort of does that with that skier. The engine sounds not too bad. Changing gear sounds okay. But um, yeah, so far I'm actually quite underwhelmed by this game, which is which is disappointing. This is not only, only the only exclusives really to come out on the PS4 this year. I had some before, and this does not seem to. I don't know. We, we would we we could leave our judgment for a while. This is the, only the first ever race we've ever played in this game. My first time ever, ever my, my first ever time touching this game, which is quite exciting. Um, this is this obviously only the first event, so I can't get too too critical yet. But we uh, judge for ourselves, I guess. Yeah, I'm tempted to like a, perhaps do like a few parts, see what the game feels like. Perhaps do like five parts or something, um, and just see how it goes. If you guys want to keep seeing more, just hit the like button. Let me know that way. Where's this corner thing coming up? Kicks in a second. I'll do it a little bit better. Quite weird having that sort of reflection on the. Uh, oh, here we go. Cornering. It's like a reflection of the dashboard. Oh, I've gone off the racing line. How you just about to go onto it? Oh, I've gone off it again. Missed it. God damn it. I'm terrible at cornering. There's, there's a couple of quite tricky corners, and I was uh, clearly misjudging it. Oh well. We've done two of the optional objectives, I think, which is not too bad. That's quite interesting thing, like, all the points coming in, it's like, I think it's like fame, you, and we go by in this game, it's like a fame meter. Um, the game where I come first though, yay, that's good, awesome. Oh, I missed one of the objectives, damn it. So close though, again, so close to getting it, but just, just a little bit, just a little bit off. Got my first trophy as well. I'm going to continue with um, whatever this game is. It didn't tell me like how to accelerate, how to brake, how to look behind me, how to change the view. It just chucked me right into it, which is um, interesting, I guess. Something a little bit different. All right. Not... Ooh, okay. Let's have a look at settings, I guess. I guess we do eventually get like our own cars and stuff. Gameplay. All right, so gears automatic. Look into corner, I guess. I'm not really sure what that means, but... I'll go with it. Miles per hour, yep, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, controls. Is it not like traction control or anything like that? Is it just vibration? 
Yeah, it's fine. Well, I see what this is. Drive. Drive club. I guess that does make sense. So, fame. Uh, your drive club career is measured in fame. So, I've got to try and become rich and famous. Um, um, earn more by drifting around corners, um, drafting or overtaking your opponents, and drive as fast as you can. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with one of these tours, I guess. Got multiplayer there, single events, and tour. Let's go with this one. So you've got like six optional like objectives, I guess, or goals. I've done that one already, so it chucks me right into it. Um, so this is like the rookie area. I guess it just keeps going up this way to the very end. It's quite it's quite a lot of races though, I give them that. Anyway, at least like Legends Trophy right at the end, which will take me a very long time to get to. Apparently there's only 50 cars in this game as well, so there's not many cars compared to like Forza or something, which is slightly disappointing. Um, I'm gonna go with... Let's go with this one first, the Volkswagen Challenge. Sounds like a bundle of fun. Right, so lap lap time of one minute. So it seems to be just lap time goals. That, that's fine, okay, fair enough. And let's go straight into play. I believe we can, can we not select it? God damn it, we're locked out, okay, fair enough. So I'm guessing we have to do this one perhaps. Hot hatch, play. Can we not unlock, oh, we can unlock that one, okay. Let's go with the mini then, I guess. Hot hatch challenge. In a mini. So you've got, yeah, got different designs, you can customize it, but I don't think there's any like, like, you can't make your own designs or such. This is all the ones you can pick from. That one, I guess. Not too bad. I'll go with it. And there's my car. And there's my hand. And there's my dashboard. And my steering wheel. And there's a random hose in the background. Looks like my car's peeing itself. Right, so it's starting to. Look at the people, they're all blurry. <laughs> they're barely invisible. Right, next race. Should I change my view? Just uh, let's go for this view for a little bit. Let's change up. So I've got to finish in the top three and reach 125 miles an hour. Okay. That sounds like a challenge, but I can do it. So this seems like a little bit of a sort of villagey city. I've got like, the leaves hitting my screen. This looks pretty good. Oh, God. I'll take that far too quick. And I'm skidding. Woof. So this game, um, it's, I think it's described as a sort of... Uh, I'll just have a sort of like an arcade sim. It's definitely not a full on sim by any stretch. I reckon the only real sim is probably going to be like Project Cars, really, honestly, this year. Which is so disappointing. I'd like to see something a bit more simulator based. But uh, yeah, this is definitely arcade, as you can probably tell. Whoa! Yeah, a little bit too quick and driving like absolute ass. And remember, this is only my second race in this game, and I've been, I've been playing Forza for quite a bit, so I'm used to their sort of controls, but. Face up. I like this all like, oh damn it, a bit like wired. Should have braked a little bit more there. So we're now in the top three. We haven't reached 125 miles an hour yet, which might be a shame. Let's find like a decent stretch of like road, like nice long straight. We just bomb it down it in some way. You can do that. I like the sort of leaves and stuff on like the floor, and it's all flick up if you go over them and stuff like that. that that's nice. I like that. Almost reached it. Oh, so close to reaching it. Done it. Woo! Confetti in my face! Oh, let's get the damage. Not too bad, it's like a sort of scratchy look on my metals. Car models look good. Nice. Look at that next set of corners, it's just up ahead. Whoa, it's like a pretty tight corner coming up. And here we go, around this one. Pretty trees. Looks like autumn time. All the leaves have sort of left the branches. The random people just watching me oh what's that track impact get like minus points oh more minus points so i keep hitting stuff break break do i have handbrake in this game yeah i think it's x pretty sure it's x anyway let's try it no i don't think it is yeah i think it might be square okay now watch it out <laughs> It doesn't give me like, any buttons yet, like how to accelerate, how to change the view, it's, just, it's a little bit weird. I'm not sure this game has like a rewind feature as well. What does the touchpad do? Nothing. Okay, that's, that's great. Ooh. Awesome. Right. They're still pretty, they're still pretty close. That, that Laura's giving me um, a run for her money in these races. She's a, she's a quick driver for sure. But we're 72% of the way through the, the race so far. And I'm, it's, it's an okay game. I think if you have like a PS4 and you like racing games and you build like a new racing game, I think this is probably quite a good choice, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm like 
most Let's Players will be positive about a game. If you watch anyone, they'll be like, oh my god, look, this game's superb. And I'm, you know, as you guys know, I'm always stupidly honest, probably too honest sometimes. Um, and I, I, the game is okay, but it's not, it's not amazing. If that makes any sense. Oh, that was terrible. I said, like, I said that I could drift, and I was like, this is not going to work. My, my poor little mini's been a little bit, a little bit smacked around a little bit. The eye is a little bit slow. I'm not sure if I can like make it better. I haven't seen any sort of way to improve the AI yet. I might have a quick look though. And we come first with high speed. A wheel woman as well, I think. Ooh, we'll see. Okay, fair enough. Why not? Why not? Right. Scott Coleman. Lovely. Mini Cooper. John John Cooper. Is that like a like a slightly faster mini, I guess? I don't know. Right, so that event is done. Is it just literally one event? Is it over? Continue, okay. Um, I'll go to the next race. So I've got to do, finish in the top three and get a time of three, five, three, four, five or less, okay. Next event, let's do this. So, three minute 45, I've got to try and get in the top three as well. Got a little beetle on the left. Lovely yellow paint job there. All this little dust and stuff flicking up cars in front weird oh like this at least like randomly placed like little leaves and stuff and foliage of the flowers so it's all, just all pleasantly sitting there waiting for me to go over it oh little bird this as well whoa okay i guess that guy sort of helped me in some way confetti thank you for throwing in my face while i'm trying to drive god damn you game there's random people like throwing confetti on the side like oh look they're coming past it's throwing confetti what what Stay on the. Oh, I went off the line. Damn it. Stay on the line. Doing too bad. Yes. Excellent. Some good cornering skill there. Well, that does sort of like make me want to improve my cornering, which I guess is good. So I'll try and compete against other people. Uh, so this game should be out uh, in America already. I think it was on a Tuesday that came out. I think this game comes out like a Friday in the UK and like Thursday in some parts of Europe. I think it might be in Australia already. If you live in Australia. But yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think this has gone down to, like, to sort of the bottom of like my radar in terms of like racing games. I'm more excited for playing some more Forza, uh, playing more Crew, and Project Cars. And then probably this game, if I'm honest. If I'm honest, anyway. I would, if I was honest, I would probably say if you have like a PS4, I'd say wait. Well, wait for either the Crew or Project Cars. In, in honesty, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I might be a little bit too harsh. Probably am um, a little bit. But the fact it's not, there's no like, it's not, not open world as well, which is definitely negative. There's like, there's a limited amount of tracks, there's not enough cars, it's literally just going from one vent to the other. This game feels like there's like no character, I haven't seen any cutscenes yet. Just jumped in the car and that has been literally it. I mean, the environments are quite pretty and I like the sort of, the way it sort of interacts as well. I do drive like absolute crap, I apologise. Um, is there like, is there like a cyst I can put on or something? Or is there a cyst I can turn off? I haven't seen anything. Automatic. I can't see anything to be honest guys. Unless I'm just being stupid. There must be some option somewhere surely. Where I can like turn off traction control or... Uh, I honestly can't see it. Well I can't see it at all. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Right, here comes the next corner. This looks like a weird bend. Looks sort of semi sharp, but it's very sudden. To break a little bit. The skids on this. I like the sound of the skids. The engine sounds quite nice as well. It sounds like quite realistic. Let's go back in the cockpit for a bit. Oh, yeah. I see sort of different views there. The cockpit does look, does look quite nice, I must admit. It looks very detailed. Ooh. This is the next bit coming up. It's like an orange marker. What the hell is this? I've been, I've been terrible. And break. I tried to do the handbrake there, but it didn't really work. <laughs> Just epically failed. That Laura's catching me up again. Oh, it's someone else actually, is it? I think it might be Laura again. Laura's like literally so fast. She's always keeping up with me. Scarlet's nice and pretty. So this game doesn't have any like rain or like weather effects yet. Apparently it might, it might be added at some point. I'm not really sure when. Uh, but then we're gonna update it. It was shown at Gamescom, but it's not been actually in the, in the final build yet. Average speed face-off, that sounds like fun. These things are cool. 
this is definitely something. This is something I like to see in Forza. Like sort of like Lumini sort of challenges throughout the sort of um sort of premise of the game. That'd be quite cool. Is this the end of it? I think it might be the end. Boom! Smash that time. I think this speed was like 64 miles an hour. Mine was like 100. <laughs> which I'll take every day of the week. Fireworks go off as I cross the line. Thumbs up for that. So we got like um like miles for every like manufacturer we go with, I guess. We're already up to level three. Awesome, making progress apparently. Calling that trophy. Thank you very much. Um, unlock. So I've unlocked that car. Also unlocked that car. That's three cars. So I've only got like 47 to go. Got some paint jobs, have I? Oh, you do unlock more paint jobs. Okay, that's that's a good thing. I like that. Right, let's continue. Continue. So I hope you enjoyed my first look at Drive Club. Let me know in the comments below sort of positive and negative things about the game and I will respond to as many comments as possible. Check me out on Twitter at GameWriteArmy and subscribe if you're new and I'll probably try and do a few more videos. Um, if you guys want to see it, just let me know and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.